Before you begin this learning application activity, let's review the basic principles of the elaboration theory. General content and simpler tasks are sequenced and taught before specific content and complex tasks. Use the simplifying conditions method to sequence content when task expertise is being taught. Use the conceptual or theoretical elaboration sequence when domain expertise is being taught. Use a sequence pattern when two or more topics are being taught. In this learning application activity, you will use the elaboration theory to sequence the content provided. The content is for a high school or university level lesson on the global impact of war. You will use the elaboration theory analysis chart to help you make decisions, use the content lens to help you organize your work, and finally, you will create an example of your sequence pattern. The elaboration theory is in fact a somewhat difficult theory to apply. Therefore, it's helpful to use this analysis chart or at least something similar when you are making decisions about whether to apply the theory. These are the basic questions that you will ask to make sure that it's appropriate to use the elaboration theory. If the answer to these questions regarding the content, the complexity of the content, and the relations within the content is no, then you stop here and select another design theory to use with your work. If the answer is yes, then you will ask the further questions whether this is domain expertise or task expertise and then move downward based on this analysis chart until finally you decide which sequence method you will use and which sequence pattern you will use. Using this lens will help you visualize your sequence from the most general topic here to the most narrow and most complex topic here. In this lesson, again, our topic is the global impact of war. These items are not in order. Your job is to determine in which order they should be sequenced from the most general and simplest topic all the way to the most specific and most complex topic. Pause this video here as you take some time to complete the learning assignment. the assignment. Let's review your work. Our topic once again is the global impact of war. You can see from the content lens how the content is sequenced from the broad topics of World War II and Iraq to more narrow but related topics like the countries involved in the war, the forms of government and alliances, the topics are further narrowed all the way to the most narrow and complex of all the topics. The global impact of World War II and the Iraq War on 2012. If you chose the spiral sequence pattern, you can see how the learner would learn content from both topics horizontally and then spiral vertically and in a diagonal pattern. This makes comparison easier and there is a built-in review and the synthesis of the information from both topics. If you chose the topical sequence pattern you can see how you begin the design with a vertical spiral, then do an upward 
diagonal to topic two. What you will notice from a topical sequence pattern is that all of the content in topic one are discussed, reviewed, and learned all the way to the depth to the depth desired depth of understanding. This is good in that there is uninterrupted learning for this block of material. Any resources material that you need is readily available for this block of time. The disadvantage of using the topical sequence pattern is that once the learner moves to topic two, the information from topic one is then forgotten. Your job as a designer is to build in strategic opportunities so that the learner can review information from topic one in an unobtrusive and non-distracting manner with the information from topic two or three or four and so on. And again in topic two the learner would then engage in a vertical spiral of this information as well and complete it to the desired depth of understanding. Now that you have completed the assignment, take some time to reflect on how you apply the elaboration theory. You should also allow some time to practice it with other, with, to practice it with other subject matter but make certain that you include real-world context for applying the information.